Welcome back. Today we're going to do the fifth soap in the May Designer Women series. It is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I'm going to pour off a little bit of black for an accent color and then I'm going to split the rest of the batter equally into two buckets. One's going to be pink, one's going to be light pink, and then I'm going to swirl those together in the pot. We're going to pour those in, then I'm going to pour the black accent in, and then we'll decorate the top. Okay, let's pour off our accent color. Now I'm going to split this off into two equal portions. Just going to eyeball it. Okay, so in this one I'm going to put pink. And then this one, I guess I can use the same spoon. I'm going to also use pink. And I'm going to add a little TD to this one. So over here is going to be black. Okay, I'm gonna get these two blended up. Let's start with the lighter color first, the one that has a TD in it.
talk. I'm gonna pour this in here. <clears throat> gonna do it in four spots. And then I'm just gonna go around. And I'll scrape the rest of this out. Actually, no, I'm gonna save some of that for the top. Now we're going to pour this in the mold. I'm just going to start at one corner and kind of let it flow out and do its thing. Save the rest of that for the top. Go ahead and pour the black in here, and I'm just going to do a drop swirl with the back, with the black. Y'all can hear that. That's my husband rummaging around in the kitchen as I'm sipping. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's just trying to get something to eat and I'm up in here like all up in the way and he's trying to be so quiet. <laughs> Gosh, the way this one's looking, I kind of should have done the Yves Saint Laurent like this, because this is pretty. I don't want to have too much of this black on the top, because I want it to, you know, it's supposed to be mainly pink. I don't want to waste any of this soap batter either, so it's all going on here. Somehow or another, we'll make it work. And my husband just laughed at me. That's that's funny. Thanks, hon. Appreciate the support. I'm laughing at the puppy. Oh, I thought you were laughing at my uh, inability to sing. You should definitely not walk me on butter and jelly. Ah. Uh,
here we go. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Victor and Rolf. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you back for the cutting. Bye. I'm being weird again. Yeah, these came out really nice. And I just did a basic drop swirl. I didn't use the chopstick in this one. Just so I could get that effect of... I just wanted a little tiny bit of black. I didn't want a whole lot on the inside. Just because of the... Designers look to it. Their packaging and everything. It's it's like solid pink and um, it's like baby pink and then it has a black black accent on it. And that's what I was definitely going for with this one. I didn't want a whole lot of black swirl in there. I just wanted a tiny tiny bit. I wanted the two pinks, the light and the dark, to really stand out. And I think they did. I think it, this is, I think this represents it well. At least I hope it does. It, oh man, it smells so amazing. If you guys haven't smelled this perfume, it's really light. It's, I don't really know how to describe it. It's soft. It's not too powdery. It's kind of, it's, it's floral, but it's not like overwhelming, you know? Very light and airy, I would say. Dainty. It's a dainty smell, but it's so nice. This is one of those that I could probably use every day and not have to worry about my splitting migraines. Yeah, this is super pretty. I'm really proud of that one. I love the two pinks. How you can, you know, distinguish. There wasn't a whole lot of difference. You know, I didn't make one extremely dark and one extremely light. It was just a little small difference in color. Well, not color. The, what would it be? Tint, shade, tone. I'll have to get back to that one. Um, I wanted to do a collection about hue, which is the color, shade, tint, and tone. I believe tone is with black, tint is with white, I think, or I could be completely backwards on that. I'll have to look it up again. I, I had researched it a while back because I was getting ready to get my monthly collections, soap collections going and or I was planning them out. And I had actually looked at doing that for a soap month, just doing like one color or hue and then doing different shades, tones, and tints of that hue. Let it be like a little instructional video for, you know, that could help a lot of people, you know, not just soap makers, but color theory and stuff like that. That, that actually intrigues me. And I thought it'd be nice to share some information with you guys, a little bit of learning. While I make soap, you guys can be painting or coloring or redecorating or whatever. Cake making. So yeah, I like this one. This is a pretty bar. I like this one a lot. I do love a good drop swirl. 
it's just so different from one bar to the next. You got, you know, two and even from one side to the other. You have, you know, two little small pieces or blobs of black there. And then over here, you got the nice little drop swirl. You got like a little teardrop going on right here. I just love seeing the designs it makes and how different they can be. So like these two are totally different. I just think that's cool. I mean, you know, it's interesting to me. Half of you guys are probably like, I don't give a flip. I just want to see the soap or smell the soap or watch you make the soap. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Which I get that. I've had a lot of people that were like, you know, I'm not a soap maker. That used to be, you know, believe it or not, that used to be all that <laughs> would watch these YouTube videos on soap making were soap makers. And now it's like a lot of different people watch these videos. You have, you know, mechanics that might watch it. Um, gosh, I don't even know how many others, but bakers, homemakers. It's, you know, can be good instructions or good instructional videos for the most part. A good bit of the time um i watch for inspiration like for instance i watch you know acrylic pouring where they do acrylic um i watch that the epoxy stuff um let's see what else baking i watch a lot of baking videos you learn different tips and techniques and tricks through, you know, get out there and explore some. Learn other avenues besides your own. And they can actually help you to mature and move forward in, you know, the craft or hobby or business that, that you're doing. So, okay, enough of my ranting. I'm literally just blabbing about absolutely nothing. <laughs> so... Here's the soap. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.